Oh, I'm recording this one at almost four. Well, it's three three thirty with an S. No, three thirty a.m. Because I got a bit carried away doing an update for Dragon Dreams Christmas Nightmare. What hand? I can't believe it's been two years since I made that game now already. How? How does time go? But yeah, um, I'll be showing a quick bit of that before we get to the Pico 8 thing today. But anyway, door number five. There it is. Oh no, we're opening the polar bear's head. Sorry, polar bark, if you're out there. Ugh. Dig into that fur brain. This is impossible. This calendar is imp. This calendar is an imp. Ooh, for real? It's the hedgehog again. Not only is that the third time we've seen him in five days, it's two days in a row as well. Ugh. <sighs> Whatever. Oh my god, the doors don't even align properly. Look. Look at the position of that one. All of these are in the right place. But that one's off centre, so you have to go... Whoop. Can't believe it. This is the quality we're dealing with. Yeah. At least we've got a different thing. That's a bauble, that is. That is a bauble. We're on a roll. That's five out of five. Five out of five, I can't believe it. It's a bauble, kind of. Oh, that's a cool looking bauble. It's the least weird looking thing we've had from this calendar. Because we've had Santa, reindeers, well the present wasn't weird. But Santa and the reindeers were kind of creepy looking, but yeah, this is pretty. I like that. Hi, it's me. Ah, oh, oh, look at it, hanging from the tree. Mmm. Mmm. Yum. Yeah, it was a good one, that was. Oh yeah, I got that as well. An early card from my grandmother, which doubles as a decoration, but it's unstuck. Ah, let it snow. Not with those, hopefully, because they're massive. Right, let's have a... Oh. Drakaya. Let's have a quick look. Ah, remember this game? Yes. Dragon Dreams Christmas Nightmare. Right, so in this version 1.3, we've got a new modifier, Oops or Mimics. It's not a very big thing, but it can lead to some very strange effects. We'll just do that. We'll just do whatever. I'm not going to do a complete run, don't worry. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Good have dash on. So yeah, that new modifier. And also... What the... You can't equip artifacts anymore, that's right. They're all passive now. Yes, it's quite a big change. It kind of makes the game a bit easy, a bit too easy perhaps, but you know, there's always the earlier versions if you want to play those instead. But I realised it's kind of fun having all the artifacts passive, so you can have them all active at the same time. And it's Christmas. We don't necessarily need it to be a hard game, do we? Look at the enemies that are appearing in my house now, because of the campfires. Being mimics. Great, I just live with a slime now. So... The modifier can lead to some fun things. With more mimics around, as well. Let's not fight too many things. Ah! Oh. You would think, oops, all mimics would make all chests mimics as well, wouldn't you? But that'd be silly, because how would you get money then? Great, that bird is still there, I see. Oh, there's an early frost. It's weird going back to this game, because those birds have a, a telegraph in the main game. I need an artifact so I can, I can show you how it's passive and stuff. We don't need to go in there. 
So if you haven't played this yet, don't watch this, you're seeing where all the secrets are, you silly person. Oh my god, what the hell? I swear, if one of these isn't a mimic... Okay, that's really weird, I've never seen that before. Five money chests, that's ridiculous. You're still here. Ow. God, whenever you randomise the items, you never get a bloody weapon, do you? Where are all the mimics? Oops, all mimics has a side effect. It takes out all of the mimics, apparently. We're not getting any artifacts, I'm very sorry. I can't get that present over there. Works for me. Don't use frost magic, it's junk. It still is. Always has been, always will be. It's slightly better in the main game, I think. If it's even in that game. Well, you've spoiled it now, then. It is in that game. Yom. Yom. We're getting some really good drops here today. Oh, yeah. Another change was... En ah, enemies drop a lot more mana. And grass does as well. Because I find that... Mana is sort of unusually hard to come by. So you never bloody use magic, as a result. But now, magic is more viable. That word is pretty nice, that is. They just don't attack, apparently, if you all oh, wanted that. Yeah. It's rather good to be able to do stuff. What the hell? All oh, right. I was going to say, what the hell? Where did all this dosh come from? But right, there were all of those chests. I'm not going to be playing long enough to bother killing stuff most of the time. Oh my gosh. Well, I've got a key, so... I wouldn't mind some mana, if you don't mind. There we go. Wait, how much does it cost? Four? There we go. I can't believe it. There we go, there's a mimic for you. Right. What was I going to do? I don't know. Buy some keys, I guess. And some of that. Right then. See if we can get some artifacts. Some arty farty facts. Oh! There's one. So, because of that, that's just permanent now. You don't even need to equip it anymore. It's fun. You get to have more fun than ever before. Don't you? fast you can attack as a result. It, I'm sure, yes, it does indeed break the balancing a little bit, but as I said, it doesn't really matter. There's the earlier versions, if you really insist on not having it break the balance, but it's fun. And two years on, why not have a bit of a bit of an upgrade. Oh, that is very cheap now. I should have made that more expensive, probably. Now that it's passive. Ugh. But oh well. Oh. Anyway, I guess that's a good enough example. I could quickly go and get that other chest I saw. Wherever that was now. No idea. Because there's stuff everywhere. I believe it was over here somewhere. Ugh. Oh. Give me a mana, thanks. There's a chest for you. Oh yeah, there were two fires here. 
So now there are two more enemies than ever before. And there's that. Also passive now. It's very tasty. Oh yeah, I think that'll do. On to the Pico 8. So, oh, as always, if you want to play this, the, the links are in the description. From the usual places, my game jaw, my itch.io, or my Google Drive. Free download. Buda -buda Booting cartridge. Door number 5. What have we got? Aeron. Give a gift. What? A shmup where you have to gather presents to mail them to the houses. Oh, nothing new there, is there? Oh, for what? You know, it's always gather the gifts, isn't it? Maybe they've been stolen. Maybe they haven't. Why does it say press square to start? What's that? Go away. I have to press Z to start. What the? Ah. Oh. oh, I see. Why would I want to shoot? Oh. I'm, I'm a Mogus. What the hell? Oh, great. That's a good game, isn't it? Um. Well, then. Well then. I'll give it one more go, I guess. If it crashes like that all the time, well then. That's a shame. I wonder if it does that all the time, or if something has changed over the years. Dead. I'm not very good at this. I'm not actually. Oi. Is it because I've got too many shots on the screen? Alright, one more go. I'll try to shoot a bit less, I guess. That's not particularly fair, is it? I guess it's a good thing I had something else to show you today. Did I already say that? I don't know. I know I was thinking it at least. Okay, never mind. That's a shame. That could have been the best one. I like shmups. Well, uh, thanks for watching today's Advent Calendars. I'll see you tomorrow for another one. Hope you enjoy Dragon Dreams. Hope you're having a good month so far. Hope you're enjoying the Christmas specials here and on the main channel, Piece of Pie Software. Um, yeah. We're almost out of the first, like, handful of days, so the things over on Piece of Pie Software should be getting, like, into the good stuff now. There already has been some good stuff, but the better stuff. Some good ones this year, I reckon. Enjoy! Goodbye!